And I do suggest that if you have overlapping triangles or if the pictures be more complicated than it needs to be, because you feel there is too much, draw the triangles separately. Alright, next, I know that WZ is perpendicular to ZY, which gives me a right angle here, and in my separate triangle drawing, I can draw the right angle there. I also know that XY is perpendicular to ZY, which gives me a right angle there. Whenever you see right triangles, it should be a sign that you are going to have to use HL. Do note that we do have three ways to prove congruent triangles. Those ways are side, 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 angle, side, and HL. So we're probably going to use HL here. Now before I even start the proof, I want to figure out how I can use HL. I do have two right triangles, which is an important part of HL. I also have congruent hypotenuses, which is an important part of HL. But I don't have a congruent leg yet. Now just looking at my separated triangles, I don't see a congruent leg. So let's go back and look at the original drawing. My two legs, I can either show WZ or ZY, and then on the other triangle I have ZY and XY. Well, you should notice ZY appears in both, because ZY is actually the same segment, which makes the leg that I will use for this proof. All right, let's now construct the proof. So I have statements and reasons. Again, we always start with givens. We're given WY congruent to XZ. We're also given WZ perpendicular to ZY. And we're given that XY is perpendicular to ZY. Okay. Now notice this does already give us our hypotenuse of our hypotenuse leg. Well, I can then say, let's look at our triangles, that angle WZY is a right angle. and that angle XYZ is a right angle. And this is by the definition of perpendicular lines. So this gives me the important right angle part of hypotenuse leg. Next, I know that angle WZY is congruent to angle XYZ. And this is because we've already shown that all right angles are congruent in a previous theorem. However, this step isn't necessary for hypotenuse legs. So I'm actually going to erase it. The only step that is necessary angle-wise is to show that we have right angles. So next, I'm going to write ZY is congruent to ZY and this is our reflexive property. And that gives me the leg. Since I have all three necessary components, I can now say that triangle, we want WYZ is congruent, and let's look at this, WYZ is congruent to XZY. which matches with above, and that is by the hypotenuse leg theorem, or you can abbreviate theorem as THM. That's the end of our proof. If that makes sense, you can try your homework example.